It's really funny how Jennifer Gardner is like in one of my favorite movies of the entire year is Love, Simon. She is fantastic as the mom in that movie. It's That is one of my favorite movies of the year, hands down, and she is great in that. And then, you know, you know, five months later we get to see her in a action movie and her trying to become an action star because we all want to see Jennifer Gardner become an action star. God. Peppermint. From the director of Taken comes his newest film, Peppermint. And I walked in this movie not excited, did not care a whole bunch, and I saw it tonight, and it's, it hold a 13% on Tomatoes. I wasn't going to go see it, but I was like, alright, I'm free tonight, I got nothing to do, football's not on Tuesday night, so I was like, let's go and see Peppermint. I walked out, I drove home, and I got, there was a, almost a car wreck in front of me. I remember that right now more than this movie. So, yeah, Peppermint is... I will say this, I can't believe that this movie has a 13% on Tomatoes because it does not deserve that low rating. That should be the Nun rating, not Peppermint. Peppermint should have the Nun have and not this. It's, it's, I don't understand how Rotten Tomatoes works, but basically this movie is about Jennifer Garner's a mom and her husband and her daughter get killed from a shootout, or not shootout, drive-by. And so she goes after him. It's five years later, and she wants revenge, and it's the five-year anniversary, and it's this an entire one-day movie, and she's going after revenge, and that's basically it. Um, so for what this movie was, an hour and 42 minute, just a tiny little action movie, it's not a Taken movie, but for what it was, it's fine. It's nothing like, it's not terrible. It's not one of the worst movies I've seen all year. I, 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 it's shocking how low the rating score for this on Rotten Tomatoes. I just can't believe that because Jennifer Gardner deserves at least a 30% Rotten Tomatoes just for her performance. She was awesome. I thought she really did a good job in this movie. I mean, I, she, I bought into the role of her being a badass. I bought really in the role of her in the very beginning when you actually see her family get killed and she's very just heartbroken. And then she gets through these terrible, rotten people who get away with the murder, this corporate judge and lawyer and the like the, the killers themselves. Like, she really had that character down. She had it down. And she was great. But the movie around her just didn't hold up her performance so well because everything around her is just cliche. You've seen it before. She's going after these guys. She's got special skills. But my God, is she a superhero. She just couldn't get hurt really bad or she couldn't die. She just could live through everything. There's a scene, The it's like the last 10 minutes of this movie. If you, you'll know what I'm talking about if you see it. There, There's no way this person survived this shooting and then gets away and then ends up in this one place in a matter of like an hour. There's no way. If you've seen the movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not going to spoil it, but that just, to me, I was like, there, come on, really? That That's just, yeah. But again, the only good thing, I mean, the action scenes aren't filmed terribly, and I do like how it's rated R. I'm like, good, you know, an action movie is being rated R. I got to give the movie credit for that. We don't really get to see these hard R rated R movies and be decently shot and decently good enough to be rated R. And this one, I thought, definitely got to the point where I was like, you know what? This movie deserved the R rating. I'm glad it was rated R. Death Wish, early this year, just perfect example of a revenge movie. That one was rated R, but that one really just... That one was... Yeah. This movie is way better than Death Wish, in my opinion. But overall, the reason to see this movie is Jennifer Gardner. That is it. Everything else, it is predictable, cliche. They throw a twist in the very end that you can see coming a mile away. I mean, the first scene, I'm like that person's gonna do this by the end of this movie. And that person does do this by the end of this movie. So again, the only reason to see is Jennifer Gardner. It's not the next Taken, even though it's from the director of Taken. Overall, I had fun with it, but it's forgettable, and I wouldn't recommend seeing it in theaters or paying price to go see this movie. Definitely not. So I am gonna give Peppermint a C-. I think it's right there at the brink of bad, but you know, you could watch it on TV and not be bored for an hour and a half. But I will say, Jennifer Garner, I would like to see her do another action movie, maybe, and maybe have a better script and better story and characters around her. Then it would be an awesome movie. Overall, meh. Anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye guys.